set. We have setups for the open set. The qualifying setups feel good, but we're going to have to do a little bit more work on the waste setup. But we do have them. Okay, the base temps are high. Thanks for the host. Hey, you're welcome, buddy. I'm inviting uh, some Indy Nile drivers to join us and some Ohio Indy League drivers to join us. I don't know if they'll come, but they're going to get an invite. So, um, you can start in second gear. Yes, sir. We go in second gear. What that does, it cuts down on all them wrecks before we even get to the Good luck, everyone. And like I say, have fun. Green, green, green. I can't believe how good these IRAPs handle here. Hold your line. Clear low. Cook is now in the lead. P9. And any of you guys that are not used to Indy cars, remember, always take four tires because you can get four tires faster than you can You've get the fuel. You've just done a 40.7. The car in front has just posted at 40.2. Not bad. No clue who sent it through right on the front stretch, but that was a stupid move. The gap behind up. is now 9.6 seconds. B6. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 3.0. Hey, sorry, I'm over. Just away. Check on that. Check on that. I'm in the back, so I don't have any idea what happened. But boy, it sure happened early in the 60 lap race. Well, it was right in front of me, and I don't know what happened either. <laughs> I think they went three wide up there in the front. Oh, okay, then four. Now these cars do not like to be bumped, so after tonight the incident counter will be on. Watch your speed limit in the pits.
You yeah, have five quick pictures, guys. Five quick pictures. I don't know what's the matter, it won't give me pit service. The pit exit's clear, push. Is the pit clear Disengage right limiter. Ah, uh, it goes too far forward, it goes down, it goes too far back. Not too far left. Well, I do that all the time. Sounds like me uh, during the 500. Hey, Art, I was pulling for you yesterday. I'm a little too technical on that map. Okay. Because I've never had a problem. I never expected to be out in the lead, let alone lead the most laps there. I was uh, kind of a uh, surprise. Boy, I'll tell you what, you did a bang up job. Uh, I had a hell of a pusher, Dave Anderson, behind me, and then uh, after that, uh, the other teammate was uh, Raymond Rittenauer, and we were working together, pushed into seventh, and I ended up eighth. Uh, yeah, 10 4. Now, the wife, she is really rooting for you. And I was rooting for all, you know, I'm glad all the guys are in there. But I like to pull a little bit more from my night crew guys. I think if it wasn't for that big ass wreck coming off of uh, turn two that I got caught up in, uh, it might have been a different story. Uh, yeah, 10 4. Rudy did do a kick-ass job, though, covering me uh, skateboarding over the roof of somebody's car. <laughs> yeah, I did, boy. Well, that had the most lead changes of any next speed TV race, and they also got the most likes. 59 lead changes. Man, that, that's the fun. That's the way to do it. It was a ton of fun, but I'm not going to lie. Being the leader, you're always scared shitless every lap. Yeah, because everybody and their mother wants you. I was just worried when we went three wide, and then uh, later on I got stuck four wide coming out of turn two. I was sure that was going to be the end there, but we made it through that one too. <laughs> Get four. Yeah, that was a good race, man. And, you know... It wound up with seven cars, and the three of them were just right there together, you know, in, in just a couple of laps. One of them shouldn't have even been a caution. Vegas threw it, and uh, Jimmy got a little mad because it shouldn't have been one. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's been four. Car inside. You're clear inside. Peace out. He's still there. He's still there. Clear on the inside. He's still there. Clear on the inside. He's still there. Clear on the inside. All right, James. The next car is. I don't know how many people we'll have. But like I said, that, that guy's putting up a few hundred dollar race against me. So, you know, we'll have who we have. Is he doing an open or fix? That's going to make a huge difference on how many people show up for it. Uh, I don't know all the specifics. I've just heard it through the break time.
Oh, well, what I'm putting up is fixed. Uh, at least this one this week will be fixed. Because we have we have a qualifying setup and a race setup for the open, but we need to tweak that uh, race setup just a little bit. Navo is in a fixed race here. The leader is just yeah, I am 14.6, seventh position. Yeah. Six driver against driver. Open setup. It, it's the technical part. The, the pit window for fuel yeah, will open on lap 19. It will end on lap 37. Now, two paid more for a setup. A guy named Albert Payson, he put on a race last and he invited Jimmy. And it was Jimmy, and I don't know who the other guy was. I don't remember who he was. But everybody had the wrong setup. Jimmy and that other guy, the whole field was out of sight by the end of turn two. And a couple of late laps later, they were telling them guys, keep an eye out for us in the mirror. And that, that's what opened the setup. Yeah, that's what I just mentioned. Uh, that he's on uh, my own personal blacklist. Uh, he's, been, he's been blacklisted with us forever. In fact, he's on his second black, blacklisting there. To call him an asshole would be a compliment in my book. Yeah, he's a good driver, but he runs his mouth. Up, up time was 40.4. Yeah, lap times are improving. This is exactly what I wish you lived near me, because then I, we could run fit. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I was in one of his, uh, I think it was a Talladega room, and, and he uh, said something smart ass. Me and JD were in there, and uh, he's like, well, I knew I should have those Trojan drivers in, so I wrecked them. <laughs> yeah, he sent me a message, uh, I don't know, a week or so ago, said, hey, buddy, how about letting me back in? I didn't even respond. I used to race with him in cyber. He was a complete douche back then and he's even worse now. Oh, yeah, good boy. Get over how good the these eight was teams drive here. Because they sure drive like crap and poking us. Man, they run good here. Seems like a Cadillac compared to the DW12 here. Well, yeah, Ken Ford. Ah, okay, Ken Ford. 
I wonder if that has anything to do with they chopped off like 90% of the wing that the DW-12 had. That was at 40.7. I did turn it in the same way. We've been trying to figure out a good uh, GTE setup for forever and they keep changing the damn temperatures. I absolutely can't drive an operator. You've just done 40.5. Not bad. If anybody gets any damage, we'll be pissed. Let us know if it won't let you out. Sixth place. You've just done 43.4. The gap ahead is now 2.2. Take them as well, bro. That was me. It, it, it pushed. It pushed the limits, and the car pushed, and I took out whoever that was in front of Got into a uh, quarter right. panel. There's no quarter panel cool. here, son. I got into him. That's what we're doing, guys, is we're practicing. Let's, let's do it now, I and mean, that way we don't do it in a big way. Yeah, I, I, I don't get too upset about accidents. Unless, they, you know, if it, some guy being overly aggressive or something, sometimes that'll get in the game. Yeah. Pace cars in two. Yeah. Pace cars in two. Yeah. Pace cars in two. Yeah, like I said, it was my bad. She was starting to push, and I think we all knew they were starting to push. And you got to find that fine line, so be fast. And I, I found it, and it just blew over, and I got into it. I appreciate you on it, buddy. Now, that's the way it's supposed to be done. That way there ain't a bunch of hurt feelings. Oh, that's all good, Alan. I and mean, shit happens. It's racing. I tried checking up. I just couldn't do it in time. Mac, you're good, buddy. I knew exactly what happened when it happened. It ain't no big deal. And remember, guys, every night this week, 8 o'clock, same time, central time, We'll be, we'll be running here, getting as much practice as possible for the 500-miler uh, here uh, Saturday. And we will be running uh, at least four 500-mile races here, possibly more. Yeah, like I said, I apologize for that. 
cars pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. We're going to find out right here if it releases me with quick repair for damage. It let me go. Yeah, the last two nights we've not had any problems. The BW-12 is now leading. But for the last two nights, for some reason, we haven't had it in the 18. Because that's another thing, we've got to make sure that the car is good to go for Saturday. Because if it's not, I'll put on a 500 miler, you know, or something, you know, do the trucks or something. Because there's no sense in doing a big race if we're all going to get stuck in the pit. The pit exit's clear. And hey guys, to any of you guys that, you know, if you get an urge to run the official Indy race this May, we're going to be running this plenty. Uh, we're going to have a setup for the open race and the fixed race is fixed race. Uh, yeah, run as much with us as you can. And that, that's one of your close man's for a visitor. You know, run with us. Uh, because I want everybody to have as good a shot as they can in an official race. But Dwight has won them, so he knows, I guess, the week prior to the race, the track have temperature is decreasing. It's now day. 52 Celsius. And, uh, they take so many finishers from each qualifier, and then they make the big show. Is that correct, Mike? Yeah, um, yeah, I just won it every year, but uh, it's something everybody wants. The gap behind is now 0.6. P4. Oh, okay, 10-4. I did, when I came back to I racing last year or the year before, I came back just for the Indy 500. You know, now I was going to quit again, and yeah, I'm glad I didn't. Indy cars keep me in the game. It can get you your blood. I don't know, is that for speed? I got one too, it was running in close pits, but I'll, I'll take it. Now did all you guys see Art in that race last night? If you didn't, go to Max Speed on YouTube and check it out. He led more laps than anybody else. That part is I could tell you the timestamp to uh, fast forward. Now. <laughs> it's like 59 minutes, uh, 39 seconds. And Jeremy led 10 laps. Jeremy led 10 laps. And boy, Art, I th what did you like 50 some laps? Uh, I think it was like 55, 56. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So just to clarify, I've got a certain second gear, and I've got to go on green, right? Uh, yes, sir. The truck temperature is falling. It's now. All right, thanks for that, Jimmy. You always run good races. Uh, thanks for that, buddy, and you're welcome. Yeah, the reason we do the second gear, we used to let people start, you know, whatever they wanted. And what happened is you had people running over each other. That was a the two zero zero point nine. Pit started and took care of all of that. Uh, could somebody give Gavin an EOL? Because I'll wreck again if I try to do my mouth. Well, I can't say it hasn't been fun. I don't even know what I'm doing here, but it's, it's fun. You'll be amazed. It only takes a couple of, you know, a couple of races, and you'll get the feel for these cars. What it is is so much faster and more agile than the uh, NASCAR, and you just gotta, you know, get used to it when you're making the crossover. 
Yeah, but Mac's a bad dude. Almost everything we have, though. Well, I appreciate that. I try right now. I really do. No, I'm I'm scared here. I really don't. I don't know what these things. I I, I got the feel, but I mean, it's just I I'm not an indie guy. I'm a circuit track boy. Well, right now you're in second place. That's funny. I'm a dirt guy. I do love well, like I say, I'm running at least one 500 miler here every month through April, and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of practice places here because I, I want all of our guys to have a shot at getting in. I think that's awesome. I'm not a good driver myself, but I enjoy hosting. Keep Hold an your eye line. out for James. Uh, he's a killer in these Indy cars. Your inside's clear. Car inside. Don't let him clear sneak on the inside. Up. The gap two. Jones behind is in Crickson. It's now 1.6. Well, Stem Racer, Racer can drive a truck pretty good, too. Jones yeah, behind is pitching. He drives real good, but I've been keeping an eye on him in that Dallara. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, you know, if you stick with these indie cars long enough, you know, the luck get the pill for them. Man, they are a blast. What's that curve, Bart? Car inside. He's still there. You're clear on the low side. That lap was at 41.1. Now the, the setup that we have uh, for the official uh, open open set race uh, will be shared with all the process drivers. We come up the track here. temperature's decreasing, Dave it's now 28 Celsius. And we get with all of our guys. And every night this week at 8 o'clock Temple time, we'll that be right here. That long time was 40.1. Well, I hate that I had to disconnect. Was it internet? No, my, uh, no, my headset quit. It took me forever to figure out. Uh, all I did was, uh, it's a wireless headset, and I finally just unplugged the dongle and plugged it back in, and it started working. So now I know. It's done that once before. Yeah, once in a while, I have to unplug the headset. You know, just pull it out and plug it right back in. Yeah, I think I'll have to do that again. Yeah, I'm sure I've heard of that. Yeah, I'm sure I've heard of that. Yeah, I'm Both of you, sooner or later, 
we're going to have to record one of our jumping contests so we can get it up. I'm definitely be on top of that one. Well, I'll tell you what, you can't believe how much laughing and, and fun they have. It's a blast, you know. We're halfway home. It should be about 25 laps of fuel remaining. Good yeah, little break, because you know we take our racing real serious. Even our moms are racing, we take serious. But you know, we do that jumping practice, it's just a practice. We do an hour of jump, and boy are they fun. I'm not going to race you until I have to. That last lap was out. I'm not going to lose six. He's a lap. I know, but I'll let him try and get his lap back. Hey, that's a nice car. Oh, Matt Cook talking about he ain't an Indy driver. Well, he's still up there in second. I don't care, but I'm, but I'm trying. Well, boy, you got about four IndyCar drivers behind you. Yes. Uh, you get up to me, I'll let you by. Well, I'm fine here. Did you Your last lap time was at 41.0. No, I just brushed it uh, a little bit, but it didn't give me an X or anything, but it came okay, real close. I got all the way over to the left. I thought you'd make a sudden move, so. I don't know how to do it, but that's one way to catch the people in front of you. You're doing another car slingshot. That 
That was scary. Looks like it. Hey, when you pit, when you do a pit stop, you want your right tire, you want your right tire just left of the dark surface. Just left of the dark surface. The captain Cook ahead is now 0.9. Just doing 230 something, it looked like 235. Yeah, I just hit 237. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Max hitting 235, because he did it again. So Jimmy, if, if I stayed out to get a wave around, the, I the cannot The gap in front has hit, increased. Right? It's now about 2.2 seconds. I believe that's correct. That is 100% correct. You have to stay out on all tires. Alan, don't take off, buddy. They still 19 laps. Be good practice. Yeah, I mean, hell, look at me. I'm 14 laps down. I'm still out here. Time was 52.6. And who was that to hit 237? Is that you, Art, or Michael? That was me, Michael. Taking up back straight, base car. Now that's a scary speed, I'm here to tell you. But everybody's hitting at least 235. That is bad fast, man. Yeah, this lead pack, we're hitting about 235 every time down that straight. Well, I say lead pack, I'm not in that pack, but I'm with them. <laughs> yeah, it works. Yeah, Alan, buddy, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I get that towing thing, I understand that. But hey, we'll be here uh, every night this week at 8 Central. Lucky dog that time. Did you get the lucky dog? Jones is leading yeah. the race. Good pit stop, guys. Good pit stop. You were parked perfect because if you get your tire a little bit more to the left, 
Go play in the, you're too far over. It looks clear. That was perfect right there, guys. Yeah, that's a whole other thing that's new to me. That quick top he chucked the, the gun over. That's funny, though. Huh? Do you happen to belong to the Ohio Lin Indy League? Hot <laughs> tempo. Uh, guys, I am sending them an invite to send some of their guys to Saturday's race along with Indy Mile. I'm going to send them an invite too. And that way, you know, them guys, they don't race nothing but Indy. And that, that's the people we want to take on because that's who we get out to beat in May. Plus, I think we can probably beat them. Now, They're good guys and everything, you know, watching their videos. But I think we can beat them. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's three or four guys in this room right now that can beat them. It ain't me. I like to hang to the back until the end. And guys, whether it's the NASCAR or the IndyCar, gather up two or three guys that you can work with. Uh, because I've been noticing a trend, man. You've got to have partners or you're out in the cold. Well, I mean, if you were to have, like, dudes that none run none, Run nothing but Indy. The only thing you can do from is learn. So, you know, I'm totally down with that. You know, it's, it's a, it, it makes your learning curve way quicker if you're one of those guys you can't hardly beat because they're doing nothing but Indy. So, it's a learning deal. Uh, yes, sir. That's exactly why I'm inviting them. I'm ultimately bringing like three or four of the guys, but it's so because we want to learn. We're NASCAR racers. Uh, we, we need to learn with IndyCar. Yes, sir. I'd be dancing in the street if a closed-neck driver won the official list of 500. I had to admit it was killing with that one. I mean, it, you got to think if, if a Indy guy who runs nothing but Indy came over in a circle track, Daytona, Charlotte, you know, Martinsville, and he ran with us, he would have to learn, wouldn't he? So we're going to have to do the same thing that, except in reverse here. Six Thank place. You. Yeah, good boy. James, what time do you call the night of the night? Ten thirty Eastern time. Ah, good. Well, then all these races are going to fit in your time zone. I know Art and Brandon, Dwight, uh, Gavin, I know they can run late. Because uh, I'm the night group. Uh, you guys that are like Ronnie and uh, the other gentleman there, Alan, I run till 2 or 3 o'clock every morning. Uh, just about my son Jimmy, he runs prime time. He runs about 3.30 central time till about 8 p.m. central time. And then I, then I run from then. So, you know, sometimes 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. 
But we run seven days a week, 365 days a year. Was the gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.5 seconds. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I had a little wiggle there at turn three, and then I had to let off the gas by turn four, I think. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm really happy with these IR-18s here at Indy. I'm not a big fan of the ir 18 and I love the BW-12. And I'll tell you what, I'm a fan of the here at Indy. Oh, sorry about that. That was me, that was me again. I'm not, I'm not even sure what happened there, but I know it was me. Guys, right after this one, I'm going to post the uh, K and N at Vegas. I'm going to do the K and N at Vegas. You know what that means, guys. Two. If you want to put me at the back, that Jimmy wouldn't have a problem with it. I, I don't know what happened there. I know it was me. Like I say, don't sweat it. This we're here to learn, man. Monday through Friday, we're, in fact, well, we're going to be here Sunday, uh, Saturday, the time was at Saturday now, because my 500 is Saturday at uh, 3 o'clock Central Time, uh, if you don't have the password, Jones behind is now. Me, all my regulars, I use the same password, race to race, so, Pace car, middle of back straight. but if you didn't save the message, just message me and I'll get it to you, but even, even the 500 Saturday, Every 500 through April is going to be to learn, to compete against the guy. Sorry about that. Okay, and, and, you know, this is how we're going to learn to control the car. Uh, you know, you can watch all the videos and stuff, and, but if you ain't getting the feel for it and doing it, you can, have, you can know what to do. You just won't be able to do it. Yeah, it can. yeah. I don't know if I pushed up or hit the rumble strip and pushed up. I, I, it was so quick, I don't even know what happened. But I'll take it. I'll fit and go back. I don't sweat it. That's what we're here for. The cigar exit in the pits. Uh oh. That bad man from BB, he's in first place. P3, you've just done a 127.0. Art Brandon James is lurking there in the background. 
a gap. That's so strange. It didn't fast repair my car. Uh, there's five fast, you know, five quick pitches. Yeah, I wonder if it's that one under a closed pit. No, I did that earlier uh, when I got a uh, turn in three. It gave me my quick repair. That's weird. I don't know what's up with it. All right, guys, you have a good night. Back up or whatever, because I had that problem a while ago. Okay, James, you're going along the guy in front. The gap hey, is good job. I'm just fun racing with you, but. Jimmy, I know I got my hands full every time I find myself up here with the guys that are running here. I'm just still new to it all and trying to learn from them. I don't really understand that, Jimmy. I uh, I came off the corner and uh, I think it was Gavin was in the middle of the track there. I guess he lost it. And I hit him. I was upside down, so I had to tow in. And then I towed in and left, and it gave me a black flag for entering a closed pit. Which is fine, because that should be at the end anyway, but I thought it was very strange. to Cook behind is now 0.6. Yeah, that was my fault. I wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah, that's no worries, Kevin. I, I was just wondering how I got a black flag when I got towed into the pits. There was a guy racing with us the other night that had that, too. It's like, I can't tell a tow truck don't go into the pits. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. I, I wasn't saying because you don't have to clear it. I mean, I, I need to be at the back anyway because I'm 14 laps down, so. Yeah, yeah, I've got Junior over here talking in my ear, so I wasn't able to I listen good. Yeah, what you said, black flag that I need to clear. No, I was just saying I got towed in and it gave me a black flag for entering a closed pit. I don't understand why it would do that. It's a third party uh, towing service, they don't work for the track. <laughs> They don't abide by their rules. Hey, Jimmy, what is the, uh, there's a digital number above the driver, you know, behind and above the driver's head. What is that number, that red number? It's your car number. The track temperature's decreasing. Is it's it? now 26 Celsius. Actually, no, that's your position. The show right now, I see uh, 31 show in 01. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Then I looked at one and it didn't make sense, but yeah, that, that is what it is. That's pretty cool. Hey, guys, uh, if you're not a member of Crow's Nest Motorsports Facebook page, uh, join. Junior was just over here telling me he's putting a special race up. Uh, Wednesday, I believe, I'll give you the time fight tomorrow night, but I believe it's 5.55. Uh, Wednesday, the uh, password will be posted on Closed Nest Motorsports on Facebook. So be sure to get become a member of Closed Nest Motorsports on Facebook. That way you can get the password. It's going to be Wednesday night. Uh, I know it's going to be a long race. Three or four hundred miles. I'm not sure. Like I say, I don't have all the specifics because he was trying to run everything by me while I was trying to <laughs> pay attention to this race. But I'll have it all down pat by tomorrow. But yeah, if you're not a member of Crow's Nest Motorsports on Facebook, uh, be sure to apply because that's how the password is going to go out. Uh, five minutes before race time, he's going to post it on on the Facebook page. The truck temperature is falling. It's now 23 Celsius.
Okay, ignore the costumes from here on out. Ignore the costumes from here on out. There's only seven laps left. Good luck, everybody. Lord Brandon, you got some rockets lined up behind you. Go fast and don't look back. And good luck, buddy. IndyCar drivers to me, all of them. Two laps remaining. That lap was at 41.0. Good luck, Hold your line. 
outside. Try the other way up. Well done, James. Damn, quick try. Damn, my car up like that. Well, I hope you count. Uh, good win, Max. Uh, I'm not an Indy car driver. Good job, buddy. Uh, everybody did good. Actually, it was a lot of fun. You know, in these practice races this week, don't be pressured. Uh, you know, it's the learn. You know, if we have an accident, we have an accident. 